chosen ones. You are the center of attention everywhere you go. You can't hide. I'm sorry. You are the center of attention everywhere you go. You can't hide. I need everybody to like this video. Comment 1111 below. Subscribe to my channel because I'm telling you right now, chosen ones, there is no way that you can hide from this world. Your presence is so powerful. You are the center of attention everywhere you go. It don't matter where you go. You can go to a family reunion. You can go to a church picnic. You can go to the muse to the freaking museum for all I care. Understand what I'm saying? You have to know that you are the center of attention. You can't hide. God made you special. God put a certain kind of chip in the chosen ones. So everywhere we go, we are the center of attention. Everywhere we go, we are the life of the party. Everywhere we go, we shine bright like a diamond. And we have to realize our worth. We have to know our worth and pay it for it. We're living in our last days, y'all, to the point where it's like everywhere you go, you see a lot of darkness. Everywhere you go, you see a lot of dampered spirits. Everywhere you go, you feel negative energies. And you wonder why you are the center of attention. Because these people, they need your glow. They need your presence. They need your, your positivity. They need your positive vibes around them. You try to hide from people. Trust me, I don't try to hide, be ducked off, low key. Understand what I'm saying? It don't work. When you're chosen, people going to notice you. I even wear hoodies and people still notice me. You know why? Because I am the chosen one and I just simply can't hide. Never try to hide or dim your light for nobody. Never hide from nobody on this earth. Understand what I'm saying? Even though we are supposed to stay low key, stay out the way, all that good stuff. All that stuff is good, but I'm going to keep it real with you. Staying low key, you know, it's really hard for the chosen ones, man. It's really hard for the chosen ones to be very, very low key. Because of the simple fact, we can walk to the grocery store. All eyes is on the chosen one. We can go to a to to the park. Understand what I'm saying? All eyes is going to be on the chosen one. So what you must do when you are the center of attention, all you really got to do is be prayed up, be filled up with the Holy Ghost, be filled with the Holy Spirit, because everybody going to notice who you are the minute you walk into their presence. All you got to do is be anointed up. All you got to do is keep your mind stayed on Jesus, man, because I'm telling you, people are going to be coming at the chosen ones left and right. People are going to be coming up to the chosen ones asking for autographs. People are going to be coming up to the chosen ones asking for prayer. People are going to be coming to the chosen ones asking them to hang out, to spend some time with them. Because guess what? We are the light of the world. People love to see when the chosen ones come. They love to see us when we're around. They love to see us when we're in their presence. And they definitely miss you when you're gone. When the chosen one is gone, they really, really misses us. Because that light is not there when you're gone. When you're gone, your presence is not there anymore. Think about it. When you have left the scene, your vibe, your aura, your positive, positive, positivity and your your how can I say this? Your your glow. All that is gone. People notice when you're not around. And I, I got out of that hiding, you know, hiding mindset, hiding from people. Don't want to show these people my face. Don't want to go to this party. Don't want to go to this function. Let me tell you something, y'all. We can no longer hide chosen ones. It's already a given that people are going to hate us. Listen to me. It's already a given that people are not going to like us. It's already a given that we are the light of the world. It's already a given that we are the center of attention. We're not trying to be the center of attention. God has created us and made us that way. 
We didn't know how we was going to look when we was in our mother's womb. But when God formed you and shaped you into the woman of God, into the man of God that you were going to be the next 10 to 15 years or 20, 30 years when you was in your mother's womb, your life was already preordained by God. You wonder why a lot of chosen ones are becoming preachers, pastors, evangelists, um, you know, you know, deacons, deaconesses at the church or just just being a servant for God. You wonder why these things are happening because your life was already preordained. When God says is your time, chosen ones, is your time. So we can't hide because God has a lot of work for us that needs to be done. The more we keep hiding from people, the more we keep hiding from this crazy ass world. Guess what? We're never, ever going to accomplish what God has given us. We're never going to accomplish the assignments that God has given us. And best believe me, chosen ones, you know the assignments God has given you. You know what you need to do to get other people to that next level and to get yourself to that next level. You know what you need to do spiritually. Not so much physically, but you know what to do spiritually in order to receive the blessings of the Lord. And we already know the blessings of the Lord makes rich. So why are we hiding? We are hiding because sometimes being a center of attention can be a little bit too much on the chosen ones. Sometimes being a center of attention can be brought to you in the wrong way. That's why we hide. Just because you're the center of attention don't mean that good is always going to come to the chosen ones. If anything, it's more hatred more than the good. Pay attention to the signs. I took about three or four months off. Because of the negativity that was coming towards my way, I didn't see the things that I was that that I really wanted to see. The things weren't going the way that I wanted them to go when I was in my church home. People were having all kind of different spirits. People were going against me and my calling. People can sense that breakthrough that God was getting ready to do for me. So you know what they'll do? They'll come and they'll try to stab you in your back. They'll come and try to argue with you, fight with you. Anything these people would do, these Decepticons, these negative vamp energy vampires, these negative spirits, they would do anything in their willpower to take you off your mission. That's why I say you cannot no longer hide because the more we hide, chosen ones, the more we're making room for the devil to come in. And we don't need to give no more room to that devil. I'm sorry, we don't. So why are we hiding? When we should really be just, you know, seeking God, we should be out there, you know, spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, we should be out there really, really, you know, telling people about Jesus, man. That's why God made us the chosen ones, because guess what? He is stirring up the gift in us. He has written uh, greatness all over us. He got unmerited favor written all over our foreheads, and we still want to continue to hide. We cannot no longer hide, chosen ones, because we have work that needs to be done. It's time to come out of your turtle shell. It's time to come out that house. It's time to come out of your comfort zone. Sometimes we can get too comfortable. Sometimes we can get too complacent, chosen ones. Sometimes we fall back and we fall back too far. This is a race, chosen ones, whether you guys like it or not. This is a spiritual race. And if you're not in this race, you're going to be one lost soul out here in this world. It's a spiritual race, y'all. This is a race to try to get to the kingdom of heaven. Everybody is, 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 is in this race. Everybody is in this race, but everybody is not really going to win this race. There's a very few people that's going to win this race. 
a lot of people are going to check out of this race because guess what? The race is getting a little bit too long for these people. That's why I say it's, it's only going to be given to the one who endures the end, y'all. That's why they say when you're in a race, stay in the race. Don't go. Don't fall out of the race. That's what I was doing. I'm in the race. I'll be in a race for about good two, three weeks strong. And what do I do? I check myself out of the race because of somebody's negative spirit, negative uh, a gesture or whatever, whatever it may be. These Decepticons or, you know, what I'm saying, or, or people that's going against you, talking about you, all that. That's what made me fall out the race. See, you have to understand that's what these people want you to do, chosen ones. They want you to check out the race. Your enemies, your adversaries, these Decepticons, they want you to throw in that towel. They waiting for you to fall in your face. Trust me. Because you have greatness written all over you, they they really can't stand to see you shine. They really can't stand to see you being great. As as eleven eleven just passed, I need everybody to comment eleven eleven right now. Your light shines so bright before these people, before men. People are coming up to you asking you what they need to do, what they should do, how they should do it, because you are the chosen one. Sometimes God will put people in your life to help them, to get them to the next level, because he did the same thing for you. God, God, God brought somebody to help you, chosen ones. Don't forget, somebody helped you along the way. Amen. Somebody helped me along the way. And I thank God for the help. I thank God for the nourishment. I thank God for the teachings, the lessons that I've learned from the people that he sent in my life to help me become a better man, to help me to become the better chosen one. That's why they say many are called, but a few are chosen, y'all. A lot of people are called to do God's will, to do God's work. But were you chosen to do God's will? Were you specially handpicked to do God's will? Let me tell you something about being specially handpicked by God. That means he really has a plan for you. You may not see it now. But you will understand it better by and by. Keep going for your calling. Keep going for your purpose because I'm telling you something right now. He is going to bring you out. He is going to give you that breakthrough that, that breakthrough that you always, always been praying for. He is going to make a way when there seems to be no way chosen ones. That's why it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things are going to be added. Amen. We are living in our last and evil days, chosen ones. We cannot no longer hide work that needs its work that needs to be done for God. A lot of souls that needs to be saved. A lot of people are not praying anymore. A lot of people are not really seeking God first anymore. They're letting this pandemic get get the best of them. I'm telling y'all right now, go for your calling and please, I promise you, everything is going to work in your favor. Go for your calling. Forget about everything else. Don't stop. Don't let anything come between you and your calling. God has a plan and a vision for you and only you. You can't live nobody else's vision. You can't live and try to take away somebody else's calling. They, that calling is for them and your calling is for you. You'd be surprised how many people will try to steal your own calling. If God ain't called you, I wouldn't play with something like that anyway. You know, I'm going to keep it real with the people. If God called you. 
that is something I can't play with because he called me. If God wanted to call my homeboys, he would call them to do it. If God wanted to call my family members, he'll call them up and tell them to do it. If God wanted to call my enemies, which he ain't probably even thinking about because they are my enemies, right? He'll call them to do it. But he called me. So that means I have work that needs to be done. I can't let nothing get in my way of doing God's will. I just can't no more. I done been there and done it all. Ain't nothing out here in this world. Ain't nothing out here in this world but murderers, stealers, thieves, robbers, backstabbers, conniving Decepticons. Ain't nothing out here in this world, man. People barely speak to you. You walk past them. People barely say good morning to you. I'm not living in the 90s no more. I realize I'm not in the 90s anymore. This is the new world order. Think about the NWO and the WCW. It was a group called the NWO, the New World Order. They showing you signs before all this stuff is about to start happening, man. We're living in our last and evil days, y'all. Y'all better pay attention to the signs. It was a group in the WCW called NWO. Kevin Nash, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man Randy Savage was a part of it for a little bit. Then he got out, fell out. And your boy, I forgot his name. I think his name was uh, was one of my favorite wrestlers. Oh, he was so tight. The Razor Man, uh, Ramon or Roman, something his name was. That was with the long hair. That was one of my favorite wrestlers. He was bad. And it was called the NWO, New World Order. That's what we're living in. And they was just tearing up everything in the, in, the, in the WCW Wrestling Federation. They was beating up everybody, jumping everybody. They showing you these signs. Talking about people, interrupting other wrestlers' interviews. They were fun to watch, man. I love the NWO because they brought that heat. They brought that energy. They were the bad boys. And they letting you know, it's four of us. We are the baddest motherfuckers on, 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 on this wrestling show. And we will beat you down. That was one of the most iconic groups to ever form in the wrestling federation. In a WCW. The NWO. They made the wrestling foundation. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is this. Everything that this, this group NWO is doing talking about you, beating you up. That's exactly what the enemies is trying to do to the chosen ones, the adversaries, these Decepticons out here. Why you think it says put on the whole armor of God so that you can withstand the fiery darts coming from Satan himself? It's going to be all kind of darts coming at the chosen ones because we are the light of the world. Pay attention, y'all. Why you think the Bible says watch, fight, and pray? Because you never know when they're going to attack the chosen ones. The chosen ones, as I said, you can't hide. Be bold when you're going through the th when you're going to the throne of grace. Be bold. We don't got no time to hide. Have no fear, for God is with you, chosen ones. Hiding for what? Afraid of what? I'm starting to realize my true worth, my value. Hold your head up high, chosen ones. Do what you need to do so that you can make it to the kingdom of heaven. I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. Everybody not going to heaven, y'all. Only things you do for Christ will last, man. That's it. Only things you do for Christ. That's it. How you treat people, all that's going, you're going to be judged by all that. You're going to be held accountable for all of your actions. 
That's why I said it pays to live right. It pays to treat people right. It pays to love one another. It pays to do the right thing. You know, when you do the crime, you do the time. Think about it. They telling you this crap. You want to kill and murder up here in life? You won't see the daylight again? They showing you. And you think that's bad? Try going to the lake of fire. You ain't coming out. Don't get me wrong. Jail is bad. But there's nothing worse than that lake of fire. Mm. Lord, wash me, cleanse me in your precious blood. I need everybody to put that in the comments below. Lord, forgive me for all of my sins. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below. If you mean it with your heart, put this in the comments below. Lord, forgive me for all of my sins. Lord, wash me. Lord, cleanse me with your precious blood. Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. And he's going to do just that. And do not forget to end it in Jesus' name. It has to be in his name. We're too busy putting other people's needs before our own needs. We're too busy, you know what I mean? trusting in people before we trust in God. We're too busy worshiping other idols on this earth. You just bought a new car and every time you turn around, you in the new car. Understand what I'm saying? You just bought you some new shoes and every time you turn around, you just buying new shoes. It says don't put no other idols before God. You already know that God is a jealous God. He don't want nothing to come before him. Why he think he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things are going to be added. That's deep, isn't it? So you mean to tell me if I seek God first and his righteousness. See, people just think, oh, if I pray and that's it, he going to give me the desires of my heart. That's cool and all, but you have to seek him first and his righteousness, which means you have to live righteously. I'm not perfect, man. And everybody know I'm not perfect. I'm not about to sit up here and put on a facade like I'm perfect. I'm not about to sit on here and put on a whole mask like I'm just holier than everybody. It's not going down like that. Y'all better pay attention, man, because I'm telling y'all, we're living in our last and evil days. Understand where I'm coming from? Waiting for these people to get on. This video going to get put out in the name of Jesus. Get on. Go on somewhere. That's why you got to blot out every distraction. Anything that easily besets you from the love of Christ, you got to let it loose. Don't let nothing come between you and God, chosen ones. Yes, you are the center of attention, but don't be accepting everything that come unto you. Which means when you are the center of attention, there's going to be all kind of crazy people walking up to you. There's going to be all kind of people trying to throw you off your game. There's going to be all kind of people trying to get you to the press just like they are because they see that you are the light surrounded by darkness. They know that you are the great one. They know that you are the chosen one. So you have to be very, 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 very careful. I'm telling you right now, got to be very careful. This ain't the 90s anymore. This ain't the early 2000s anymore where everybody was cool with everybody. Everybody can wear the colors that they want to wear. Everybody can wear the shoes that they want to wear. Either you're going to live for God or you're going to live for Satan himself. I refuse to live for the devil. The devil is a liar. I've been there, done it before. It's not a place that you will want to be chosen ones. Give all your all to God. Give all you got to the Lord Jesus Christ, man. Because all this other stuff, it's not even worth it.
time is ticking, y'all. Time is ticking, y'all. We're here for a good time, not a long time, man. Give your all to the Lord Jesus Christ, man. We can't hide chosen ones. Because there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Please join the WTC Benson program. And I promise you, I will get you to the next level. I promise you, I will. My email is Jordan underscore Howard 18 at yahoo.com. Shoot your boy email. I got you. I'm not going to leave y'all hanging. Any prayer requests, any testimonies, shoot your boy email. If you guys would love to be a blessing to my YouTube channel, my cash app is dollar sign symbol God will provide three one. My PayPal is God will provide three zero. It will also be in the description below. But back to the title. Everywhere you go, all eyes is going to be on you. Be ready. Remain humble because you have a gift that nobody really have. You have the anointing that destroys yoke. You have the humility that can just make a coward look crazy. Remain humble at all times. I'm starting to learn some shit. You around a lot of people, you ain't got to talk. Let them talk. You know what you are capable of doing. You know what you bring to the table. As a matter of fact, you are the table. Stop asking people to eat at your table. Let them just ask you to eat at your table. Stop begging people to eat at your table. They're going to be asking you. They're going to be treating you. They're going to be treating you to steaks. We too busy begging people and asking people to go out with us and do this. Let people treat you for once. Fall back and see who stays, but fall back and see who going to treat you just like you would treat them. It's okay to fall back. Especially when the energy is not being reciprocated. It's okay to fall back. But like I said in the beginning, we can't hide. No matter how hard we try to hide, no matter how many days we stay in the house. <laughs> I done stayed in the house for a whole week straight, didn't come out. And guess what happened when I came out? All eyes was on me. It's even worse when you hide for that period of time. And I hide for three or four months. So could you imagine what happened at church yesterday? I spoke to everybody. Everybody came up to me before I could get away. That's just the, the, the world we're living in right now. Everybody is nosy. Everybody want to know what you're doing. Everybody want to be in your business. Ain't nobody going to bring nothing to the table. Everybody not going to invite you out to a vacation, invite you out to dinner. Ain't nobody going to help you get to the next level. Ain't nobody going to pray for you, but they want to be all up in your 411. They want to know how you making ends meet. They want to know, you know, why your YouTube channel is popping. They want to know. People going to be asking you, are you hiring? People going to be asking you, are you hiring? Can I join the WTC gang? No, you cannot. Certain people tell me, oh, ever since your YouTube channel been popping, oh, oh you, you act like you can't be seen no more. No, it's not even that. I'm not acting bougie and I'm not acting antisocial. I have to protect my energy. I have to protect my peace. I have to protect my salvation. Before I go back to where I once was, and I don't want to do that. Because I know where God has brought me from.
you guys better be very careful of who you call your so-called friends and loved ones, y'all. When you are the center of attention, you ask God to protect you, to send his guardian angels to camp around and about you and to keep you out of, out of harm's way. There's levels to this shit, man. You don't need no bodyguard. You don't need to tell the paparazzi to keep it pushing. You don't need to tell TMZ to leave you alone. Just know that you are the center of attention and the attention is going to come on you. But it's up to you to really figure this out. You have to use your words wisely. It's going to be a lot of questions being thrown at you. I'm telling you, you're going to have the whole paparazzi on you. You know why I said that? Because I'm actually experiencing it right now. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning for me. I've only been on YouTube for about eight months. And I'm already at 20,000 subscribers. And I just want to say I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart for real, dog. Without the WTC family, none of this is possible. But I'm just keeping it 100 with the people. So I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Real talk. You can be doing anything else with your time. But you always tune into my channels. And I appreciate y'all and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I really do. So I need everybody to share this video right now. Because this is a real, real video right now. Trust me when I tell you. But you just continue to keep God first. Seek you first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And I guarantee to you, everything going to be added until you ain't got to go out here chasing people, chasing this person, place, and thing. In all actuality, they're not even chasing you. Come on now. And just remember one thing. If you need a friend, you already know you got it in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you already know you got the best motivational speaker in the whole wide world in your boy. We the chosen ones. Be blessed. And stop hiding. There's work that needs to be done.